I think that she's a formidable person and opponent. And I would bet you that Abigail Spanberger and her campaign would not take Sears lightly. Lieutenant Governor Winsome Earl Sears has her eyes set on the governor's mansion, looking to snag the Republican nomination for Virginia governor next fall. Republicans like her, they really do. Like when they meet her, she's very engaging, she's very popular. Earl Sears was the first black Republican woman elected to the Virginia General Assembly in 2002 and only the second woman of any race to hold statewide office in the Commonwealth. Here's 8 News legal analyst Rich Marr on her campaign's significance. I, I certainly think that Republicans have embraced candidates of color in the past few years, particularly in uh, Virginia, and it would be a historic first uh, for, for Virginia, it would be a historic first for the country. Abigail Spanberger is the only announced Democratic candidates for governor. She too could be the state's first female governor. I think the challenge for her, if she ends up in the general election campaign against Spanberger, is to appeal to moderate Virginia voters. But before Earl Sears potentially wrestles with Spanberger, she could have to go head to head with Attorney General Jason Meares, who is widely considered to be contemplating a run too. In a statement Thursday, Meares says his focus right now is on November 2024 and getting Republicans elected in Virginia. Mars says the lieutenant governor getting out in front right now sends a signal to challengers like Miares that their path forward will now be difficult.